Hi there. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I hope you have a blessed life. My name is Ponch. So today we're going to be talking about consciousness. The conundrum of consciousness. What is consciousness? And are you conscious? Am I conscious? Are we conscious? So, even scientists today don't necessarily understand what consciousness is but we have an idea of what it could be so consciousness could be the sum of all your senses your taste your sight your hearing your smell everything but just like your senses some people would disagree that there are even more so like birds they typically um usually how they migrate is they detect the the magnetic fields of the earth which tells them where storms are going to come from uh where they need to migrate during certain times of the season so humans are like that humans could have more senses than what we perceive to be the first five taste touch uh, smell, sight, and hearing. So, consciousness is linked to that because consciousness is affected through what you interact with, which is all those senses. Your senses create your your reality. It helps you detect and uh, examine the world, test it, and experience with it. So, uh, Consciousness is a very, very tricky subject, but there's different types of consciousness as well. Um, We know uh, that there is the subconscious and the conscious mind. Uh, The subconscious is all, all the information that you've accumulated throughout your past experiences that you might not be aware of. So, like... um, like your dreams your dream state you are not in control of your your dreams you can you can practice and learn how to get, get some control of it but you will never be fully aware conscious about how to control your subconscious so we understand that there are variations of consciousness uh the conscious mind is the everyday version of you that you use it's it's what you interact with every single day your consciousness your conscious uh, mind is the one that you use every single day that you interact with but your subconscious is kind of what information is stored when you use your consciousness your conscious mind so let's say your conscious is almost like short-term memory your subconscious is your long-term memory it's what holds all the information that you've accumulated all the good all the bad all the trauma all the happiness you accumulate a certain amount of that and it is saved but your conscious mind is it's almost like a temporary memory you forget a lot of the things that your conscious mind observes and sees so what your subconscious is seen as is it's your it's your personality um but like i said scientists would disagree between what consciousness is or what uh, what senses it actually uses but all of that involves that consciousness uh, is aware of something consciousness needs awareness it needs to perceive something to to basically understand it itself so 
we have to test it in multiple ways but that's the way that we test consciousness we test it by testing our consciousness we test it by examining specific things that we interact with but consciousness is expanding that's why uh, that's why a lot of the a lot of the things in the world that are going on right now are falling apart or we're starting to see some things that people don't people hadn't necessarily seen before and that's one of the reasons why consciousness is a big thing right now because um we're becoming hyper aware of our surroundings and ourselves uh, our consciousness is shifting from inside our minds to what's outside of our minds we perceive a lot more uh we're starting to realize that it's important to to understand what's inside of you but it's not the main thing it's your awareness is out here you're if you spend more time uh focusing your awareness and your consciousness on what's on the outside uh and not thinking so much like about your problems or i mean it's okay to think about your problems but it's it's not okay to to dwell in your problems it's not okay to be consumed by your problems and that's what a lot of people are realizing even today that people are focused a lot on on things that aren't important important to them and it's being shown to you because you're put in a situation that you have to kind of figure yourself out and that's going to be the entire world that's going to be everyone that exists because consciousness is almost like a it's almost like a wave there's a there's a up and a down and up and a down but it's always a cycle there's always a cycle of consciousness becomes really high then it goes really low because you have to you have to understand both sides uh, you can't understand consciousness if you're not if you're not unconscious there's a mass consciousness and a mass unconscious so there's people that choose to be aware of their surroundings and their life and the just looking for meaning in in life there there needs to be more awareness of there's greater things out there than just suffering than just being plain just being regular and that's what people are struggling right now with that they're they don't know who they are or they 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 hit a brick wall that they don't know what to do with their life but it's a it's really simple it's just really simple to the point where uh it doesn't have to be complicated you have to be you have to be aware of who you are to to live the life that you want you will receive all the happiness or whatever you want if you realize that you just have to be comfortable with who you are and you have to make the changes that you want to see because that if you keep living a life that is a lie that you're not happy with your consciousness will shrink and you will be you will suffer a lot more because you're not aware that there's other circumstances that are affecting you because you chose to enclose yourself in a box that doesn't have much power over you and you are you're in control of everything in your life nobody else is going to be in control more in control of your life than you it's up to you and your own discernment and consciousness and awareness to figure out the ways that this will take you to the next step that you want to be at 
will this make me happier will this make me sadder will this get me one step closer to the goal that i want your awareness is needed for all of that your awareness ne needs to reflect what's on the inside you have to be who you want to be not who somebody else wants you to be and then your life will reflect that but yeah i'm gonna be talking about these topics just because uh it's very interesting and um it seems like a lot of people are becoming self-aware nowadays and uh i just think a lot of people need a lot of help because they're misguided because it's not necessarily known you will go through a period of time where you don't know where to go and there's people that have already been through that i still need to understand myself more you have to there is no there is no greater goal than to understand yourself your mind who you are what is around you because that shapes your reality you create the world that you want to live in when you become the person that you want to be so i hope you'll join me on this journey and i hope you have a beautiful day and i hope you have a blessed life peace